Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get the Blood Red Ion Stone item in Baldur's Gate 1, Siege of Dragon Spear Expansion Pack. So this uh, this stone is a helm slot that you can get and you're going to get it in the Forest Paths area which is a waylaid zone in between uh, these three zones. Specifically you'll want to travel from Trollclaw Woods to Boris Gear Bridge or from Boris Gear Bridge to Forest of Worms. Uh, this waylaid zone is triggered when traveling to Borskir Bridge, essentially. Um, and one thing that's worth mentioning, too, is there's two different waylaid zones you can trigger when traveling in this area. One with the green worm, which we just triggered, and there's another one with a pack of goblins and uh, uh, a myconid cave in the center. That has different loot, obviously. So if you, uh, when you approach the green dragon, you'll be asked... To, uh, he'll ask you to help. And uh, when if you agree to help him, he will reveal you a cache of loot, which will have the Ion Stone. If you attack him, then uh, when you kill him, the Hill Giants will call for reinforcements. And the leader of the Hill Giants will drop a unique halberd called Cold Fury. So there's one thing to mention too. If one of your characters is wearing, here's where the Blood Red Iron Stone is. This is something that I have not seen mentioned anywhere online. Um, probably because it requires you to use console commands in order to run into this issue, but I think it does. No, it actually doesn't. Uh, if you, any of your characters are wearing Dragon Scale armor, this is piece of armor, the one that you get from this expansion pack off of the dragon that you kill in Forest of Worms, um then the little green dragon will not agree to uh he won't he'll won't say anything to you besides rar you're wearing the skin of my kind and then he'll basically attack you so keep that in mind and anyway what i wanted to say about this blood red iron stone is this helm is a this is a helm and it's able to be worn by anybody even people that can't typically wear any helm whatsoever like you can see i can put it on safana i could have put it on edwin and neither of those characters can typically wear helms which is one of the things that makes that item such a powerful item. But anyway, that is really all there is to it. If this video helped you guys out, please leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Baldur's Gate 1 videos. Peace.